I put on DKNY Apple perfume today and it's thrown me back, right back to freshman year of college. Ooh, I almost smell a little bit of vodka in there. All right, so today we have clearly an unexpected neon lip. Things got wild. But today I'm doing another one brand tutorial. So I've done a few of these. Last one I did was quite the polar opposite, Charlotte Tilbury, very high end. Today we're doing Essence. So Essence is a super affordable brand. They're carried at Ulta, Fred Meyer or Kroger, depending on where you live. And Essence is cruelty free, which is great. But if you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. Let me know what brand you want to see next in a one brand tutorial if you want these to continue. I'm going to link a few of the ones I have already down below in the description box too. But if you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Oh my god. If you have impressed nails, getting the hair caught between them is my biggest pet peeve of 2020. Okay, so one of my favorite primers of all time, I don't really use it as a primer at all, but it's the Fresh and Fit Awake Primer by Essence. I think I've talked about this five million and a half times, but this is basically just a super pretty glowy plumping kind of product, but I don't think it does anything as far as like making your makeup stay on longer or anything. So I'm almost out of this. I think since you guys have seen me use this 5,000 times, I'm gonna try the Essence Prime and Studio Glow Boosting and Pore Minimizing Primer. Looks like it has these little like grainy things in it. Whoa. What is that scent? It smells a little bit citrusy, but also kind of like rose a tiny bit. And it definitely has a bit of an orange color. Yeah, you can see it against my neck. It felt super moisturizing when it went on. Now it's kind of starting to dry down a bit. It definitely doesn't feel as moisturizing as the other one. Okay, so Essence doesn't have a whole lot of foundations. I think they only have like two or three. So I'm gonna use the Soft Touch Mousse in 01 Matte Sand today. I remember trying this a while ago, like a few years ago at least. So I'm curious to see what I think of it now. I hope this shade is gonna work. It is the lightest shade. <sighs> it's gonna be quite dark, okay. Soft Touch Mousse. This reminds me of the Maybelline Dream Bouncy, just like the idea of it. Okay, this could be my yeah, this is my bronzer shade. Did I try this in a video? Now I'm getting like flashbacks. Look at this. This is the lightest shade. This is the lightest shade. <laughs> I'm a jock. I just looked through all my foundation bins. I swore I had another Essence foundation. Oh my God. I just found it right here on my desk. Why have I not seen that in like two years? Yay. Okay, this one is gonna be a much better shade. I think I remember liking this one. So this is the Fresh and Fit in the shade 10, lightest one. I remember this being pretty light coverage. I a lot. I haven't used this in a long time. Okay. So as it's drying down, the glow seems to be kind of going away a bit. But it looks kind of just like a satin matte finish, kind of more on the matte side. But it looks nice on the skin. It's looking like, I would say light to medium coverage, maybe medium coverage. I do have this diamond sponge from them that I did dampen. There's two in this set. It's the Glow My Mind crystal sponge set. I just was way too amused by that pun. I'm going to take... Uh, well, there's lots of sides here. I'm gonna take this flat one to blend out my forehead. It feels very lightweight and super squishy. Like, I feel like this might be a good under eye one just because of the point, but it's probably the most light feeling sponge I've tried. I have a concealer to try, so I think I'm gonna use the concealer to try and just spot conceal a bit too. So this concealer I have never tried. This is their Camouflage Healthy Glow. I think this is new from them. It's in the shade 10 Light Ivory. So it has vitamin E, gives a healthy glow, and instantly covers dark circles. So sign me up for that. Ooh, I like this little triangle applicator, I think. We'll see once it's on my eyes, but it almost is like a lip applicator. I'm gonna do one eye at a time, just in case it dries down quickly, which this one is kind of feeling like it might. Oh, shit, where's my concealer brush? It looks pretty light. Okay, let's blend this out. Let's get thumbnail first. Very brightening, wow. It feels a little bit cooling or something. So because of the shade, it is very brightening and kind of like lifting. When I look up close, the coverage I would say is definitely more light to medium coverage. I can still see darkness coming through. It's probably one of those concealers that I would wear on no makeup days, which is like a dot just to brighten up my under eye, but not really try and get coverage out of it, you know? I'm gonna let this one sit on for a tiny bit longer and just see if we get more coverage. Sometimes that does the trick. Okay, it's probably been about 30 seconds, 45 seconds maybe. Let's blend it out. Okay, I did get better coverage on this side for sure. So I'm gonna try and highlight my face with this since my foundation was a little bit dark to start with. And let's test out 
the sponge for this. I'm just going to use the diamond sponge. I might try that pink one for powder. Since it's dry and it feels very lightweight and like easy to control, I do like how light this is. It's very bendy. I think that's the difference. Like sometimes I feel like sponges are a little, so I just have to focus a little bit too stiff, but because this one is so light, you can just like really mold it to the shape that you want. Looks nice on my face. Not every concealer looks like this. Like it's melting in pretty nicely with my skin. So this could be good face highlighting concealer. Like it's actually pretty rare that the concealer looks this smooth. I am going to get wild here, guys. I really want to use this as I'm going to try and use it as like a bronzer. So using the Sigma F82, I'm going to just dip into the foundation and just apply where I would bronzer. Okay, I feel like it's adding a little bit of coverage right there, which I like. And it is actually a nice natural bronze shade once it's blended in. I thought it was going to be like totally orange just looking at it, but not bad. I like that I got a little bit more coverage too. All right, good move. Glad I did that. Let's try this little pink guy for powder. So to set my under eyes, I don't have any kind of uh, pressed or loose powder, like setting powder from Essence. So I'm going to use my go-to, Laura Mercier. I have a whole video on my concealer routine and powder and everything. So let's try it with the same kind of technique here. I like the shape of this for under eye powder. So I can get like right underneath my lash line. Yeah, that is not bad for powder. So before I do the whole blush bronzer highlight, let's do brows. I have this brow pencil from Essence to try. It's the Eyebrow Designer. I've definitely tried this, but I don't think I've tried this shade. I got the shade black this time because I'm pretty sure I have the brown one and I don't remember loving it. So let's try this black one today. I've been liking kind of darker brows. So this is not retractable, it's just a traditional kind of sharpen pencil, which is kind of nice because then you can get like really fine point. Just, I like that, I would use that again. I like actually that it has a super fine point because you can sharpen it. Okay, so I've been using and talking about this a lot. I've been loving this, this is a new bronzer palette from them. It's the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. I like this shade the best, but sometimes I'll kind of just like mix them minus this one because that one's quite orange. But I've never tried this from them, it's the Luminous Bronzing Powder. The shade is Sun Kissed in California quite the name. It looks a little bit orange, so we'll see. Oh, it smells like sunscreen. I don't mind a luminous bronzer at all, unless it's like super glittery, but I don't mind it. It's not looking bad. I wouldn't say I would like reach for this over some other bronzers I have just because of the tone. It is definitely very warm. I like the palette better. I'm just going to take a powder brush with nothing on it and just kind of go over that to tone it down. So one of my favorite thing Essence makes are good, affordable blushes. I have probably like five to ten of their blushes and I really like their limited edition ones. It almost reminds me of a MAC blush that I cannot remember the name of. You know what I'm talking about? This is in the shade Be Fitting. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that shade. That would look really pretty if you had a little bit of a darker skin tone than me. It does remind me of, is it MAC Melba? No, maybe. Okay, so this is quite the clunky highlight palette. Yeah, this packaging is a little, little much, but this is the new Glow My Mind Baked Highlighter Palette from them. These look pretty. The lightest one is in the middle. You have like a gold and then you have kind of like a peachy, pinky-ish one. The lightest one does look kind of the most flaky, glittery. So I'm gonna start out with the kind of peachy, pinkish one. Ooh, very glittery. Yeah, super glittery. Comment down below if you've been watching since I used to use Essence Snowflake as a highlight. It was an eyeshadow that they used to make. I'm pretty sure it's been discontinued. That was such a pretty highlight if you have fair skin. So because this shade is glittery anyways, I'm going to add a little bit of the lightest just to see. Oh yeah, that one's even more glittery. Also the packaging would drive me a little bit insane just because of how huge it is. I'm very excited to try this setting spray. I think this is a new one from them. It's the You Better Work Gym Proof Fixing Spray. It says it's sweat resistant and anti-shine. This should be interesting. It says it gives you an instant matte effect. So we will definitely see if that happens. It smells like baby powder. All right, do I look matte? Okay, I'm noticing some bumps come in right here, which I don't know if I had that before or if I'm getting like a product reaction from something. I don't know if that instantly mattified, but my face is now set. So as an eyeshadow base, I'm gonna use this Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I haven't used this in a long time. Don't remember what I think of this. Let it set for just a second and then blend it out with my brush that I usually use for eye primer, which is the Sephora 
71. I could kind of tell this was going to be one of those that if you don't let it set, it's going to kind of sheer out and take away some of that coverage that it has. I kind of remember that about this primer. All right, I have two new eyeshadow palettes here to try. I have the Ola Rio. Here's what the shades in this one look like. And then this one's the Essence Follow Your Heart eyeshadow palette. Whoa, these are big pans. Looks like some nice matte shades. Ooh, look at that shade. That is right up my alley. I'm gonna start out with this palette and take this middle shade as a transition. Okay, that's actually pretty orange. Wasn't expecting that. Is this the name of the new Bachelor show? Follow Your Heart? Are you guys watching that? I think I made it like 30 or 40 minutes in and I could not take it anymore. Really can't get into the whole singing thing. It's like a whole new level of cheesy for me. I get like major weird secondhand embarrassment when I watch people sing like by themselves. Like if they're just like posting them singing on Instagram stories or something. Ooh, it just it makes me feel so awkward. I don't know. Not that people who do that are always like bad or not talented or anything, but I just, I just can't watch it. I don't know what it is. Comment down below if you're the same way. This shade bronze me. I just, I have to use this shade. Wow, it's looking very orange on camera, I feel like, but in real life, it actually looks kind of like true camel. Ooh, wow, that is pigmented. Don't really know where I'm going with this. I should probably not drag it all over the lid though, because I kind of want to put that purple there. Yeah, that shade is really nice, super pigmented. All right, let's take a breather from those mattes for a minute and use this shade because it is speaking to me. I feel like with the nails, I'm like, I'm matching here, but okay, I'm just gonna press this on the lid. Ooh, might need to switch to a brush. Okay, so far, all these eyeshadow formulas are great. This one is super soft. Ooh, there are some really pretty light shimmery shades in this palette. This second over shade looks like it's gonna be really nice for the inner corner, so I'm gonna take that on the same brush. This is the Sedona Lace 954. So I'm kind of bringing it like very high into my inner corner and then I'm gonna go back in with that purple, I think, and kind of touch it up. Ooh, that shade would look really pretty all over the lid. That's a pretty like champagne. Yeah, look at that, ooh. So before I decide what I wanna do for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this Essence Liquid Ink Liner in Waterproof. I've definitely tried a handful of different Essence liners. A lot of people like Essence eyeliners, especially like their pencil liners for the waterline. This one has a brush tip and it's pretty flimsy, but it is tiny. So I don't know if I'm gonna wing it out today. Let's just see what happens. Very black. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do a wing with this kind of tip. I guess I can always fix it with a different one if I need to. Let's try it. Ooh, no, yeah. <laughs> There's no way. Do the wing, I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liner. This one's also a few bucks. I just find you have so much more control with this type of pen. I don't know how people do wings and stuff with those eyeliners. Uh oh, is this one already drying out? This hasn't even been that long. So one of my favorite mascaras of all time is the Essence Lash Princess, both the volume one and I think the lengthening one is the blue one. Now I can't remember the name of that one. I have it in my travel bag. It's always a go-to, but I also really love this volume one. Both of them, amazing if you've never tried them. Best mascara that three or four dollars can buy. But I wanted to use a different one in today's video to try it out. So this is the Essence All Eyes on Me Multi-Effect Mascara. Okay, it looks like just kind of a traditional mascara one. I might even layer some of these, but let's see how this one is first. This is one of those just like super basic natural mascaras. Okay, so I'm trying to really build this one up and I'm just not getting the kind of volume that I usually like. Actually, let's try this as the second mascara on this eye. So first I'm gonna use this mascara from Essence on this eye and then I'm gonna use that other one to add a second layer and kind of separate. Wow, that inner corner shade is so pretty when it hits the light. All right, and then this eye, I'm gonna do the opposite and add this mascara as a second coat. Yeah, I don't love this one, even as like a layering mascara, so I'd probably just skip that and say get the blue one. I think the blue is my number one and then this one's my number two. I don't know what's happening. When I was ordering product for this video, I was like, I for sure have Essence pencil liner, so I'm not gonna order those. I have like 10 of them. Just checked all of my bins, cannot find them. I found two other Essence liquid liners and actually one of them was this super fine pen, which I know I'm not a fan of this one, but so I apologize, I don't have anything for the waterline this Essence, but I'm gonna use the Revlon So Fierce Liner. And then this brown shade looks so beautiful, so I definitely wanna use this. I'm gonna use it on a flat liner brush and press it underneath my lashes. And then let's go in with Chocoholic. Just blending that out on the lower lash line. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more of that inner corner shade right on my lower lash line, just really close in. I don't wanna bring it too far out today. Because this mascara is kind of more of like a drier formula, I'm actually gonna try this for my lower lashes, even though it has a bigger one than I would typically like to use for my lower lashes, but let's try it. 
does the job. Wow, they're long down there. And then last we have lips. I'm just gonna hope that this <laughs> shade is gonna go with this look. This is the Color Boost Matte About Matte Liquid Lipstick. I definitely have tried this. I have one or two other shades of this. Oh, this looks like orange orange. Let's see. <laughs> Could be a look. Let's try it. Okay, ne a pure neon orange lip is definitely not going to be for everyone, but I'm kind of digging it right now. It has a stiff applicator, which I like for lips. It's just kind of like a moussey liquid lipstick. Oh, I just got that on my nose. Wow, that is super orange. <laughs> definitely feels like a dry matte. I mean, it's a look. I feel like we should just keep it. So this is the final look using all Essence Cosmetics. I'm gonna go through some of the standout products. I mean, obviously this is my number one thing from Essence of all time, so that's a given. But besides that, I really like how this concealer is sitting not underneath my eye, but on the rest of my face. So I would use this again as just a highlighting shade. Like if I have a foundation shade that's looking too dark, this one is nice because it just looks like skin. It doesn't look like a heavy concealer sitting on your face. So I have a feeling this one might be good for using, like I said, on no makeup makeup days where I just add a touch and I don't set it. So I'm gonna keep this out and give this a go for that kind of look. I don't think I would use it again for like a full on look, but I mean, it works totally fine. These sponges, I think, might be good to pick up just because they're so different than other sponges I've seen because they are so squishy and light feeling. So I like that you can kind of like mold them and squish them to be whatever you want them to be. Bronzer, I would definitely say you could skip on this one and just get this palette. If you're curious about Essence bronzers, I think this one is a good place to start. Like I said, this one totally reminds me of a MAC blush. I'm definitely gonna keep using this. And for a couple bucks, super pretty shade. This, I oddly <laughs> might actually use again not as a foundation obviously but in the same way that I did today as just like a cream bronzer especially if I'm doing again like a no makeup makeup day that's how I've been using cream products normally like only so if I'm doing that it might be nice because it might add like a little bit of coverage but kind of serve as a bronzer so like a two-in-one and then both of the eyeshadow palettes I tried are super pretty there wasn't one shade in here that was like a dud out of the ones that I tried obviously I didn't use all of them obviously the essence mascaras are favorite already but those are kind of the standouts let me know what your guys's favorite essence products are down below if you've tried any of these out let me know what you think. I think Essence needs to come out with more foundations, some more shades for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna have everything I used on my face today listed down below in the description box. My nail polish colors down there, necklace, earrings, jewelry, everything is down below in the description box. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.